So as a technical tutor, my role is to manage the entire lab, but also teach the students. So um, I can have up to 48 students in the lab at any one time. So um, as much as I would love to be with every single student and supporting them, I can't do it all alone. So then we have people like Adam, who are postgraduate demonstrators, and they come in and support myself and the students. Adam. Yeah, so I'm Adam. Uh, I'm a PhD demonstrator, um, one of many that would be in the lab during experiments. Um, the idea is that each PhD demonstrator is a spare pair of eyes in each bay, so we can oversee health and safety, you can give a hand where a hand's needed. Um, each PhD demonstrator is also an expert in that experiment that's happening in that bay at that time. So um, if any of the students have any issues with their setups or the actual practical sides of things, then we're there to offer a, a helping hand where needed. Right, when the students first arrive in the synthesis lab, they come through the door and we tend to have them all spread out in this area so that we can give them a safety briefing and just talk through one or two points that they need to ensure they know before they start their chemistry. We also introduce them to their postgraduate demonstrator before they move to the bay, but it also gives us a possibility to show them demonstrations. So we have a visualiser, so Adam is now going to show us a, um, a demonstration, but we he can do it underneath the camera, but it also portrays on the screens, which means that all of our undergraduates can see what's happening in real time, rather than having to um, crowd, crowd round. So Adam, he wants to drop, drop a crystal in. So here, we're showing crystallisation and how quickly a crystallisation can happen. So we've dropped one crystal into a saturated solution and already the entire petri dish is full of crystals. So that also gives out heat, it's exothermic, but it's just a nice way of showing off our visualisers.